Hey guys, welcome back. So glad you're here. Today we're going to complete two more bases from our seven bases video. And these will be the red and black ones where we do the ladybugs. I recommend you buckle up for this one because it's a bit of a wild ride. I do some changing and some moving around. See that poly burlap? We end up changing that out. But I do use those ribbons and those little ladybugs from Hobby Lobby. And this ladybug crossing sign, $4.99, but you get 40% off. Just take some little snips and give it some pressure and then spin that. And that'll end up taking that stake right off. As we start on the bow, we'll start with the buffalo check ribbon. And this is one of the places where it just was out of control is this bow was way too big. So I end up redoing it. But the buffalo check is the same on both sides, so I just crisscross it. I don't twist it. But then when we go to the ladybug, then because it's one-sided ribbon, you do make your loop, twist it over, make your loop, and then twist it. I do three of the buffalo check on each side and three of the ladybugs loops on each side. And then go to this little red and white ribbon. This little red and white ribbon came from Michael's. The buffalo check was from Michael's. And the ladybug was from Hobby Lobby. Be sure and get your ribbon from Hobby Lobby when it's every other week, when it's half off. And of course the red and white was one-sided, so we twisted that as well. Now I get a pipe cleaner. Pull up all this ribbon. Look how huge those are. Did it not dawn on me that that was maybe too big? Apparently not, because I got all the way finished and actually at a craft fair before I realized that's just too big. Put your pipe cleaner in. Give it a good twist. And you know what comes next. Fluffing the bow. My favorite part. And you can see here, I've got that big bow. I have the poly burlap, but those little ladybug feet, they just tore up that poly burlap. I mean, it was just poked it through and made it fray so much. So that's why I ended up taking that off. Added all those little flowers. And you know, I always say not to put hot glue directly on your plastic flower stems, but these were pretty substantial. So that's all I did. I did not add anything else to put the hot glue on and they did just fine. I made sure that I cycled my glue gun on and off so that it wasn't really hot. And ultimately I took off the bow. I took off the ladybugs. I took off the poly burlap and the only thing that was left on this wreath were the flowers. So yeah, I took it down to the basics to redo it and I'll show you how I ended up putting everything back on. I just redid the bow but then on the little leaves I use this hello fall it's a burlap ribbon and it has a much much tighter weave so the little ladybug legs didn't keep going through it I just cut those into eight inch lengths and did them a lot like we do the petals for those petal wreaths which I haven't done yet I did the crosses that use that poly burlap but you use these little rainbow loom rubber bands to just put around there then we'll do one more you just fold it over and then go to the end and start walking it through and then take that rubber band and twist it around And then I ended up taking a pipe cleaner and wrapping that on the end because I didn't want the hot glue to touch that rubber band. It would break it. I'll show you that in a minute. But here I'm going to show you how I put the ladybugs on. I initially did how I put on a sign, which is hot glue, pipe cleaner, duct tape. While I was at that craft fair, one of my ladybugs fell off. 
because it was a little warm out. So I was very glad that I did not sell it online and actually had to take it out in the heat. So I ended up putting E6000 on the sides of the ladybugs, putting the pipe cleaner down in it, just kind of bending it till it's the shape of the ladybug. And then I put a hot glue on top of that. So once that E6000 dries, even if the hot glue gets softer, like in the heat, it's not going anywhere. The hot glue is just for an instant hold while the E6000 cures. And I go and put the bow back on, the smaller bow. And then this is where you can see the black pipe cleaners wrapped around it so that it protects that rubber band from the hot glue. And then I just put that directly on the wreath. I do two petals and a ladybug on top. And the ladybugs were nice and secure, so felt much better about that way. They're kind of a pain to put on there, though. But you know signs are my least favorite thing, and these were much like a sign. Because you have to take that pipe cleaner and push it through all the mesh, get it to the back, and then secure it. I use the same process on the small wreath, so I don't show you all the details on the small wreath, but I do show you the bow, just because people like to see bows made, because that's usually where a lot of people struggle. So, this particular one, I did the ladybug on the bottom, did three loops, much smaller loops too, and then just made my loop and twist it so that it's right side out. And then I go on to, this is a different buffalo check, it's kind of diagonal, but it's also an inch and a half as opposed to the two and a half inch. And it is a one-sided ribbon as well. This ribbon was used in the, well, all the buffalo check ribbon was used in the, where I showed you the Bodabra versus the Easy Bow Maker versus the Bow It All. These ribbons, much the same, or the exact same. If you really want to see bows and comparisons, I will link that video here at the end. And you can go check that video out. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with it here. <laughs> uh, who knows? Then I go on to the last ribbon. The polka dots. Just like in the last one. I get all my loops done. Take it out of the Easy Bow Maker. Put a pipe cleaner around it. You can always use a pipe cleaner or a zip tie. You can use Bodabra wire, which I really kind of became a fan of that, but I usually just have pipe cleaners right there available, so that's why I use them. And then I show you here the wreath before I took it apart, or took out the poly burlap and the ladybugs. Here's the updated version after all of its changes. And we have made it to the end. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Maybe check out another video. And we'll catch you on the next one.